Hi, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and today we're going to make a gantry crane. Because I've got some heavy equipment that needs to be lifted and moved around the shop. This ought to get the job done. I tend to use a SketchUp drawing to, for everything that I make so I can get proportions right and exactly how I want it to look, as well as make a cut list from that drawing to know all the different pieces that I'm going to need. Now I'll be cutting about everything down with my crosscut sled and I'm going to be using 2x8s and 2x10s to make all of this. This entire gantry could be made out of 2x4s pretty much, but I find that 2x4s from my local box store just aren't that great of quality. And by using 2x8s or 2x10s, I just get better lumber out of it even if I cut that down to make it into 2x4 size. By cutting them in half, essentially, especially out of a 2x10, which often has the pith in it, uh, it allows me to cut that pith out of there and end up with, quite often, quarter sawn lumber, uh, which is much more reliable and easier to work with. So let's take a moment and talk about today's sponsor. Works sent me over this Works Pegasus Workbench. I have been really impressed with it. I used it in this video, as you can see throughout the video, and it's got quite a few different neat features. One, this surface, the, the thing doesn't weigh much at all, and it stores away nice and compact, but this surface can handle 300 pounds. It could actually be used as a sawhorse as well. These things just pop down, and then it turns into a sawhorse that can actually handle 1,000 pounds. And it does have some metal structure within the plastic. So I've used these uh, sawhorses similar to this, but they're solid plastic. They're rated pretty high, but they're really wobbly. This one is solid as a rock. And being able to turn into a work surface like this, and even with these tiny little rubber things, you can actually connect multiples of them, turn into a big work surface with, with multiples of these Pegasus workbenches. Uh, it's very handy. And as you saw in the video, I've used it for quite a few different things and it was a nice service to have. Another thing they include are these little quick clamps. They lock right in and you can use them to clamp things down to work on or, or whatever. They're quick adjusting and also they have these dogs down below that you can actually use in conjunction with this and it's like they thought of a few different things. So you can use multiple dogs and then clamp that right in and you can actually clamp larger pieces with just this tiny little uh, quick clamp. So they sent me a coupon code for you guys to get a little bit extra discount. So you can save another 10% off of these things off their web website. Right now, they do have this thing on sale. So you can catch it on sale and get the 10% off. You can get a pretty cool little thing. So thanks, Works. I appreciate you sending this over. And thank you for giving my viewers a coupon. I cut some 2x4s as at an angle for the extra supports for the legs and then added the bottom to the legs. Now I'm using power head screws and I'm using actually rather log power head screws. I've also got the flush mount drill bit system that allows me to put that power head screw to be flush with the bottom of the, uh, the lumber. This will allow me to add another foot which I'll have to do with a 2x6 uh, because the casters that I have won't actually mount to a 2x4. They're a little bit wider, so I'll need a 2x6 to actually have the casters mount to. So I also cut down some half-inch plywood, and this will actually be additional support for the 2x4 angled pieces on the legs. This way, the actual 2x4s don't have all the support just on the screws at the top and the bottom. It's actually got a connection essentially all the way up the leg. And here I am, adding that 2x6. Now I sat one half inch uh, piece of plywood underneath to kind of get just a, a little lip on that one side. I'm actually having it to where it sticks out a little further on the outside. Uh, so this will actually be the inside uh, that you're seeing underneath. <clears throat> Once again, using really long power head screws, mounting this on, it's going to be solid as a rock. I have no worry about this coming apart. So as you can see here, by having these screwed on all the way down, then now this is even more rigid. You're not just stuck with the two screws holding the 2x4 here and the two screws that are coming up from the bottom holding that 2x4 on. The one thing I was worried about is that if this has a lot of weight and it starts to shift a little bit, that these 2x4s could bow. And I didn't want them to have any capability of bowing. 
By doing this, now that weight is distributed across the entire 2x4 and not just the top and the bottom. Now the header, I made that fit just right, right over the center board of the legs. Uh, I ended up just having to hammer it home and then drill the rest of the holes out to get the bolt in. So I drilled the holes through the header and the, the legs so those match. And then I also put gussets in the corner. This way it would have additional support. Now the bottom bolt goes through the leg assembly itself and the two side bolts go through just the header. So this is giving me five bolts that are going through all three pieces. Now once again, I ended up putting the casters on and that was up through the 2x6. I made the 2x6 a little extra long. This way I can actually put bolts all the way through and lock them, lock them in with uh, a bolt and a nut. And then I put lag screws on the inside ones. Installing this winch. <laughs> uh, I lost some of the footage on my camera of me actually getting the winch up there. Uh, that was actually rather entertaining and I was very sad to find out that my battery died when I got to that point. But once I got the winch onto the bolts, I wasn't taking them off. So I did not re record that over again. Uh, it was still kind of fussy just trying to get those bolts started because you have to put the nut inside of the winch, uh, this tiny little hole and get the nut started on the bolt and it, it was it took me forever to actually get this thing on here but once it's on there and it's mounted now you can see it's here it's solid the reason i made it this way is that the winch is able to have the cord itself or the cable closest to the center of the gantry itself so here it is in its finished form uh, I've got an 8,000 pound winch on here, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous, but it's a winch that I happen to have lying around and it wasn't doing anything else, so this is a good good use for it. If I was to build this thing and actually be buying a winch, I would probably maybe buy a two or 3,000 pound winch. Um, the reason I would be buying that is because I have a tool that weighs 1,800 pounds that I have to lift off of a pallet and get moved into place. Otherwise, you might have you might not have a use for that strong of a winch. You could even use uh, a come along or anything like that. Now you can build this gantry in whatever size that you wish uh, with the same sort of layout. Uh, a lot of people build gantries similar to this to get car engines out of cars. Well if you're doing that you're going to need to make it wide enough to clear a car, not just clear a pallet, and also tall enough that it can lift the engine and get out of the way. Uh, but this will do what I need it to do and the reason I built it so low is because I needed it to be just high enough to lift what I need, but I wanted to keep the center of gravity as low as possible because I don't want 18,000 pounds tipping over on me. Now the battery that I used, it's actually a battery that you would get out of a battery backup system uh, for a computer. So it's a lead acid battery. It's not designed to handle high amperage for long periods of time, but because I'm only doing short bursts, it's having no problem whatsoever. I've only charged this thing once and I've already moved a machine, uh, which you'll see in an upcoming video and it works great. So I'm very happy with the design and uh, I want to say thank you to Works for sending out that Pegasus workbench. That actually worked out pretty good. I'm actually very happy with it and I've got it stored away already. So it's already got its own place. But for now, I want to thank you for watching this video. And like I said, I've got a couple new machines coming into the shop. If you want to see those, follow along and watch my next few videos. So with that said, thank you for watching. God bless.